Viewers, we also just hours away from the conclusion of the Pran Pratishtha and the entire world is watching this moment with awe. In the run-up to the Mandir Puja, the Prime Minister also undertook a special 11-day ritual or following the Yama Niyama during which he made multiple visits to the southern part of the country and constantly spoke of the relevance of the south in the Ramayana. The Prime Minister has also visited a series of temples in the southern peninsula which are connected to Ramayana and the tale. The Prime Minister started the 11-day ritual with a visit to the Kalaram Temple in Nashik on the 12th of January. The Prime Minister listened to verses of the Bhavartha Ramayana in Marathi and offered darshan to the Lord. In fact, the temple is also situated in the Panchvati region of Maharashtra, where Lord Ram, Sita and Lakshman are believed to have spent much of their 14-year exile. It's also believed that Lord Ram killed 14,000 demons here in just one and a half minutes and hence the name Kala Ram as he invoked his Kala Roop. The Prime Minister offers prayers on day one of the 11-day ritual. Listen to all of the verses of the Bhavat Ramayana is uh, the detail that we've been telling you. Also, he's been to the Veer Bhadra temple in Lepakshi, uh, where, in fact, uh, he listened to the Ranganath Ramayana in Telugu as well. This is believed to the place where Jatayu fell after being badly injured and fell during his fight with Lankan King Ravan. It's also believed that Lord Ram met Jatayu here and learned about Sita's kidnapping. Let's quickly take this across to some of our reporters who are at many of these temples where the Prime Minister has visited. In fact, we have Somit joining us live from Hyderabad. Arunil is at Nasik and Neha joins us from Lepakshi in Andhra Pradesh as well. Neha, I'm going to come to you first. Uh, uh, one of the pictures that we had seen is the Prime Minister. And I believe you have the priest of the Lepakshi temple with you. Uh, can you take us through what he uh, has told you about the Prime Minister's visit there, whether he was able to interact with the Prime Minister? Uh, because it's very significant that the Prime Minister is virtually tracing the entire journey of the Ramayana through his visits to all of these temples. Well, yes, absolutely. And, you know, that's what makes this temple also so important. The fact that, you know, it is, of course, a repository of Hindu mythology and of the culture, the entire construction of the temple, the whole structure and, you know, just the stories now that this temple has behind it is what really goes on to make it so important. Of course, we're going to try and take this across now, you know, to someone who's been associated with the temple for with the entire, you know, area of Lipakshi as well, who's probably spent, you know, the entire time here and we're going to quickly get in a word from them to understand why you know the Lipakshi and the Virabhadra Swami temple also in particular is so important and makes up such an important part of the Ramayana sir thank you very much for speaking to us if you could introduce yourself and tell us what is it really that makes this temple and you know the entire area of Lipakshi so important to the Ramayana today yes, yes. madam my name is Lipakshi Ram Prasad president Anna Prasadam Seva Trust, Lepakshi. Actually, Lepakshi is an ancient place. During Ramayana, Ravana hijacks Sita. At that time, Jatayu bird abducts the uh, Ravana and uh, Ravana cuts the wings and it falls down. In search of Sita, Rama came across Jatayu and gave moksha. And at that time, he told Lepakshi, because get a bird. After that, the place has become Lepakshi. Lepakshi has become Lepakshi, and this is the story of the ancient Ramayana. Afterwards, after a long period, during the last regime of Vijayanagara dynasty, they have ruled Penagonda as capital. At that time, the importance of this place, they have decided well, to construct Well, that's the importance as far as Lepakshi is concerned. Neha, please hold on to your thoughts for a minute. I want to quickly bring in Arunil as well. Arunil, now Nasik is very, very significant. The Kalaram Temple is with the Prime Minister A, announced the Anushthan of 11 days, and we all know the kind of restrictions that he has uh, been undertaking ahead of this Pran Pratishtha uh, ceremony that's to take place about two hours from now. Uh, very, very significant because uh, the number of restrictions that you would have to follow in terms of food, in terms of diet, in terms of practices, sleeping on the ground, etc. Uh, it was all announced there and it's very significant because that is a very, very important chapter in the Ramayana where Lord Ram is believed to have spent a long period in that entire region. What are the people at the temple telling you, Arunil? 
Well, the Prime Minister also tried to give out a message, Madhav. The message was that Lord Ram, as much as he belongs to Ayodhya, he belongs to the whole of India. That is why he started his 11-day ritual of fasting from the ancient and historically significant temple of Kalaram Temple. At present, I am reporting from here. He based the Mandir Swachhita Abhiyan was also started by PM Modi from this very temple only. Uh, it is said that Lord Ram, Mata Sita as well as Lakshman, they spent a lot of time during their vanvas at the Panchwati uh, in Nasik only, uh, the city of five banyan trees. This is where they spent their uh, most of the time. We speak to the people who have gathered here. It is kind of a Diwali for them. The festivities have begun in Ayodhya and as much of uh, that much of the excitement, the euphoria has been witnessed amongst different generations of people here in Nasik right. in different parts of India. Well, the excitement, the fervor very clearly visible not just in Ayodhya but across the country.